Syriza is a political experiment actually. It's something more than a political party. It's a political experience to overcome the, the historical deficiencies of the left and the fragmentations of the left, not only in Greece but also in Europe and globally. In a sense, a large proportion of the Greek society, the Greek electorate specifically, used to vote for two destructive political parties, the Social Democrats and the right wing. Those were the parties that uh, applied this neoliberal project, uh, that uh, deprived ordinary people from their access to commons, to basic services, to natural resources. Greece has been a guinea pig of neoliberalism. It has been a field of biopolitical experimentation on the new normality that the neoliberal plan wants to bring uh, all over Europe. This new normality that has to do with turning the European Union into a more competitive force in capitalist terms against the emerging forces, for example, of the BRICS, like Brazil, India, Russia, China, South Africa, uh, in the game of global neoliberal economy. So in order to boost a program of job creation and to exit recession, we need to make some immediate changes uh, in contrast with the current neoliberal paradigm. We need to stop the austerity programs, we need to have a public intervention in the, pub in the banking sector in order to radically change the crediting policy for the small and medium business and the households, and we need to achieve public investments to ensure that we find the funds uh, from a national and European level in order to promote public investments for safe job creations, for stable job creations, for decent employment. Because with an unemployment rate of 30% and the society experiencing a humanitarian crisis, you can never exit the current economic crisis. The victims of this humanitarian crisis, in many cases, are people who get isolated, extremely excluded, stay at home, they become desperate, and they feel fear. And these are conservative feelings. And that's why many of these people tend to the neo-fascist gang of the Golden Dawn in the last elections. That's why we are trying to convince people that we need collective action for collective problems. And the best way to convince these people, the victims of the crisis, is not by charismatic speeches done by balconies. The best way is to give concrete political examples. And the concrete political examples are given through our daily presence in the neighborhood, in the local scale in the field that our compatriots, that our neighbors are experiencing the crisis. And that's why Syriza activists at present are engaged in more than, more than 150 local networks of solidarity. They are networks working horizontally. They are not trying to build a philanthropical, vertical power relation with the citizens. They work horizontally in order to convince people that in order to face the common opponents, the common enemy, we need to work together in order to ensure that we have electricity in our houses, running water, in order to ensure that if the state excludes us from public health care system and from uh, free drugs, we will have the volunteer doctors of the health care centers and the volunteer drugstores organized in a magnificent way throughout Greece in order to ensure that there will be no people dying of curable diseases, there will be no people dying of hunger. There are thousands of households who cannot afford to pay their electricity bills. This means that there are thousands of households who lose access to the electricity network. In these cases, when we're talking about poor neighborhoods, the volunteer electrician of the local network of solidarity visits the house of the family next day and illegally reconnects the electricity. The only possible way to convince 
desperate people to fight for social change is to convince them that you are there to see you there present on their daily life helping them to put bread on the table again this is the beginning of all kind of social struggles don't be afraid to act against an enemy that seems invincible but actually is not <laughs>